Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to the first part of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Oh yeah, one of the most memorable games from my childhood, and one of my most favorite games ever. This game is just so full of awesome, I, I don't believe it. And I know that you guys are probably expecting something like Kirby's Epic Yarn, and that's what I have some explaining to do, actually. Um, see, basically the thing is, I'm just going to let this intro play out here while I talk over it, whatever. Um, basically the thing is that my Wii was apparently not over its crashing problem, so like when I went to record the next part of Kirby, it just like, it went kaputski pretty much, so there you go. So I actually just sent it out earlier today to be repaired, and now, um, now I'm playing this for you. Hopefully this will tide us over until Kirby gets back, and yeah, that should be about two weeks from now. Jeez, man. Oh my god, but I love this game so much, like, it's a, it's, a, it's a relatively short game, so I should be able to complete it before my Wii gets back. Oh man, it's so awesome, though, like, <laughs> I've always, like, I've al I always knew that I would let's play this game someday, it's just so awesome. For the longest time, I actually didn't, like, own it, like, I owned it a long time ago, and then I lost it in some move or something. And then, like, I just recently got it back, just like a few months ago. I bought it on an auction on eBay. Oh, from some guy, I don't know. Alright, so, let's start here. Awesome. Man, this has been such a boring video so far. Oh, you shouldn't be here, dude. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so here are all your characters. Um, when I first, like, played this game, I didn't have any idea who any of these characters were, even though most of them were from, like, different games. I'm just gonna go with Tip Tup, because he's awesome and green. He's the first one I ever played as, because I like turtles. Alright, uh, here's my first file that I just played when I first got the game. And, uh, pff, my username does not shorten the three characters very well, so I'm just gonna go with my actual name. Oh boy. Here we go, and let's get started on our new adventure. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Man, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this as, like, a kid, this this scene actually scared me a little bit, because it was just, like, so scary. I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be so evil. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> this just comes out of nowhere, this music. And the butterflies, and it's all happy again, and that rainbow. That's so straight on the edges. Look at how straight those edges on the rainbow are. That's just ridiculous, man. It doesn't, <laughs> rainbows don't go down like that. Whatever. And then, boom, burst onto the scene, the game genie. Oh, yeah. Frickin' blue elephant, man. He is so awesome. <laughs> man. Jeez, it's such a shame that this game is, like, never on the virtual console or anything. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Dude, I can't believe I'm actually recording this game right now. This is ridiculous. It's been so long since I've actually held anything other than a GameCube controller in my hand while recording. Alright, uh, how do I go again? That's it. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, you can tell I haven't done any practice on this lately. Alright, so here we are. This is basically the game. You just drive around and you can like go to races and stuff and you have to kind of collect all the balloons around. Balloons are the collectibles here. Alright, so honk at the genie, and we can switch vehicles. This is like one of the fav my favorite aspects of this game, is that you can change between these three vehicles. My favorite's the plane, obviously, because I believe I can fly! Oh, yeah. Uh, so we might as well just go ahead and start out by, like, getting... There's, like, a few balloons. There's, like, two or three that are scattered around the mainland. One of them's right here, obviously. So we might as well start by... Dude! <laughs> Damn it! hate that when you like crash and you just lose all of your height it's just and you just like float to the ground so slowly it's very sad very sad looking tipped up there we go that's one man that little that little jingle when you get the music when you get the balloon it's so cute it's so awesome jeez man uh you can do a barrel roll in this game can't you well that's how you do a somersault jeez man all right there should be one down here yep Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get any races. I probably will get some races, because it's not going to take very long at all to get all these balloons that are scattered around here. Damn it. I thought that, like, lifesaver on the wall was, like, a... I thought it was a balloon for a second, so I went after that. But I know there's a balloon behind these trees here, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I could have done Adventure 2. That might have been more exciting, but I'm not used to that at all. Because there is, like, a second quest after you beat the game, and I've unlocked it, obviously. 
and it's basically it's basically the same thing, but everything's mirrored, and I think the computer players are faster or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's just get this up, dude. Dude, you missed the balloon. You missed the balloon. This is much easier to get as a car, but there you go. All right, we. Jeez, I'm surprised how similar the controls are to Star Fox, honestly. Well, I can't shoot with B, but that's fine. So let's just head in the big door, and all of a sudden, car. Alright, so we got some choices here. Uh, let's go ahead and just head to Ancient Lake, which is supposedly the first one that they want you to go to. Alright. Man, this game is so awesome. Look at Conquer over there. <laughs> Conquer. Jeez. Conquer is always one of those like awesome characters just because his eyes are so wide. It's so crazy. Uh, oh, I need to get that key. That's right, damn it. So here it is, basically. This is the game. You just like run around the tracks, and I should have gotten that zipper. Dude, how do I fire again? Like that. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of like Mario Kart, honestly. Like, <laughs> I, su I suppose there's no surprise since pretty much every racing game in existence is really similar. But like, it's such, I don't know, it's its something about it, just, there's like that charming, like actual, like, the whole fact with like the mainland and everything is just so much fun. I don't know. I like, I like this better than Mario Kart, honestly. Really do. Okay. And you press Z to use the frickin' items. Dude, don't hit the dinosaur! Oh my god, the dinosaur! He just crushed me with his pot belly. <laughs> hey, Diddy, get out of here. I know this is your game, but today it's Tip Tup's time to shine. Oh yeah. And one thing I really like about this game, well, I suppose I'll get into that when it actually happens. Oh yeah, and you can collect like the bananas on the road here, and I think uh, like every time you collect a banana, it makes you a bit faster. And you can, like, when you get up to 10, that's the fastest you can go, or something, because like past 10 you won't get any more speed. Yay! Got first on my first race. Awesome. I probably won't use Tip Tup the whole time during this LP. I'll try to switch up characters once every, like, one or two videos or something. But here we go. Man, I love this. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> I just love this guy's voice. He's so awesome. Blue Genie is, like, one of my favorite characters of all time. And here's what that key we picked up did. I didn't really make mention of it. I picked it up on the ramp. But there you go. It unlocks the minigame of the area. I suppose, I don't know, I might show that. Well, I have to, sh I get a balloon from that donut, so I'm going to have to show that eventually. Um, it's right over there. I'm going to do like one more race and then I'll do it or something. Something corny like that. Alright, Fossil Canyon. Dude, no, I didn't want to crash it. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, TT. He's cool, but I don't want to talk to him right now. Alright, man, I already have five balloons. There's only like 47 in the whole game. Um, but those ones on the island are really easy to get anyway, so... You know, whatever. Pfft, look at that circular sun. That just shows you how, like, limited, like, the graphics on the Nintendo 64 were. Like, the sun's just a big yellow circle in the sky. Aw, oh, crap. Those green balloons, they're like oil slicks, aren't they? I think so. <laughs> I just honked at him as I passed. Just because it's like, hey, screw you! Okay. Oh yeah, and I think I showed it off, like, I didn't, well, I didn't show, I showed it off, but I didn't really talk about it in, like, the last course, but if you get two balloons of the same color, then it, like, upgrades just like that, so it went from, like, a, an oil slick to this spiky ball thing, and you can get a third one, actually, and it'll make it, like, the ultimate, the ultimate power-up, it's, like, the trial weapon of, like, a thing, and I can do it here, and this one turns into a bubble, and I think, like, if you, like, I'll just put this bubble in the zipper. I think if you hit that, then you like float up in the air, and so it, it's really funny looking because you, like your car is just like you're moving so fast, and then you just stop dead, you just stop dead right then and there. It's just like what? That's not possible, man. Okay. Yeah, and this one's a homing missile. I honestly, I honestly think for the red one, like the second power up is better than the third power up, because the third one is just like ten missiles that don't home in, whereas it's, like the second one is one homing in missile. And really, you're never going to need 10 missiles in a row. It's just not going to happen. Looks like someone hit my bubble. Cool. Alright, I think I can actually like go down this way. Yeah, that's a nice little shortcut there. Alright, boom! So much fun. Yeah, and I think the blue one, the blue ones, if you like stack those, it doesn't get very exciting. It just like, it just like makes your, makes your boost that you get from it go, go for longer. 
Oh, I like this right here. You just go over the hill and you start shooting, like, the sun. You start shooting the sun with missiles. It's so funny looking. Oh, first. Love that big yellow first symbol. Or how do I skip this again? No, okay, just press A. Just press A, dude. Press A to win. Okay. Oh, let's do this minigame, I guess. Oh, dude. <laughs> Hit the freaking wall. I came up to, like, 11 minutes. Oh, this game is actually harder to commentate than I thought it would be. I don't know, maybe it's not a game that's set for LPing. Oh, I'd hate to think that, though, because I'll, I, like, want to LP this game. Alright, so the objective of this game, if I remember correctly, is that you want to take, like, you have to take three eggs to your nest, or maybe it's more than three, I don't remember. And you have to wait for it to, like, hatch or something. So I just like to kind of, like, wait here and guard it, because people can come over and steal your egg. Okay, I guess I'm, I guess I'm leaving, okay. But, as you can see, like, up there, under my, under Tip Top's icon, it turned, like, solid. It was flashing before, and now it's solid. That's because it's, like, hatched or something now. So you need to wait for it to turn solid like that, and then no one can steal your eggs anymore. Alright, I need to steal that egg from Conker, otherwise he's gonna frickin' own me. Oh, someone else took it. You're fine by me. Alright, dude, get the egg. Get the egg. Awesome. Jeez, normally I'm not very good at this game at all, but I, I seem to be doing rather well this time. Um, but don't speak. Oh, dude, Sea Conkers stole my frickin' egg. Alright, I'm gonna go take it right back then. No, t where are you going? Okay. <laughs> Jeez, man, I thought she was heading to, like, Banjo's pad or something. Alright. Dude, Banjo's actually catching up. Look at that. <laughs> Diddy's not even getting any. Oh, what What now, Diddy? I thought this was supposed to be your game. Okay. So I like to sit here, and if someone tries to come over and take mine, I'll just shoot him. Just like, oh, dude. <laughs> He got scared. He got scared. That was funny. But I came in first, so there you go. Diddy comes and tries to steal the egg after I won. Alright, oh. Okay, you get a piece of the amulet for that. Cool! You have a piece of the TT amulet. You have three more to collect. Good luck! I love that. It's just like, cool! Exclamation point. It's like, man, you're awesome! You must rock at this game. You're gonna beat it in no time, but no. Trust me, once you get later in this game, it actually starts to get very challenging very quickly. Do I have time for one more race? I think so. Who cares if this goes a little bit over the 15 minute mark? Uh, did he say Turtle Falls? I swear I heard the narrator say Turtle Falls. Oh yeah, you can get that boost right off the start, like if you just press A as the get ready sign fades away. That's basically how you do that. Right, I think you can like... No, you can't zoom across that. I must have been thinking of another course or something. Whatever. Oh yeah, there's those yellow balloons too. We haven't seen those either, have we? Yellow balloons aren't very exciting. Um, yeah, see, it's like a nuclear reactor symbol. It's like, what the hell's that gonna do? Oh, I missed it though. Oh, I missed. Oh, there's also rainbow balloons. I think I don't think those are too useful either. Oh, and I, th I like when I first saw the rainbow balloons. I thought, oh man, this is gonna be so awesome. I wonder what this does. And then like the freaking magnet showed up, and I'm like, what? What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do with a magnet? Like seriously, dude, I missed the balloon. Basically, this is what the yellow ones do, though. It makes a like a barrier that blocks you from like getting hit by oil slicks or whatever. And final lab already. This is one short ass course. These courses are a lot shorter than they are than the Mario Kart courses, so. Just warning ya. Dude, my cat. Shut up, cat. Go away, please. Dude, no, I'm, ru I'm running up the wall. No. You're driving me up the wall, cat. Alright. Ooh, blue. I like the blue one. Yeah, this is the rainbow balloon over here. It's basically a magnet. It, like, pulls you in towards the person in front of you, I think. There you go. So it's the first three races and a minigame. Man, I didn't think I would get that much done in one video. Holy crap. Uh, and not even and I'm not even up to 15 minutes hardly yet. Jeez, man, this has just been ridiculous. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to end it off here though because I don't have time for that last race over there. But for now, thank you everyone for watch for watching. I hope you, I hope you've managed to sit through this whole video. I know it's been really tutorialific and kind of boring, but you know it'll pick up pace as we move along. They always do, don't they? So next time we probably won't see what this does. Aww. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.